StampingWithDaddy.com. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And this is going to be a quick dies shorts. And I'm going to use, I think I've used the same stamp set almost all week. I think, I think, I think. Except for my Dollar Tree one, right? So, um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it again. I did an Insta hop. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I do a, this is like our third month. There's um, Ashley Pfeiffer, and I hope I pronounced that right, um, from Canada. So she invited me um, to be part of an Insta hop, and it's demonstrators from around the world. And then we have a theme. And then instead of doing like a blog hop, I've done those before, this is through Instagram. So the 10th of every month, we um, have a theme. And then, oh my gosh, I can see like a hair. Ah! Um, we have a theme, <coughs> and then we hop through Instagram. So this was the card that I did. We Our uh, theme this month was leaves and or foliage. And I thought, hey, this has got leaves and foliage, because would foliage be considered the flowers? I don't know, but anyways, so this is what I used. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this as my dyes shorts. And if I stop blabbering, it really will be a shorts. So anyway, so let me get started. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you say hi, and let me know where you are coming from. This, I always talk about the hostess code, or host code. Um, because we have boy and girl um, stampers. This is the host code for September. So if you are ordering in my store, please use this hostess code. Um, my clubs have done their order, so I don't have to necessarily say except for club because they have um, all closed their orders for this month. If you are ordering over 150 though, please don't use the code because then you will be getting your own hostess benefits. So if you have any questions at all um, before you order, just holler at me. If you want me to place your order, I can do that as well. Um, I have a lot of customers that they're just like, can you just place my order so I don't have to mess with it? And that is not a problem at all. So just always give me a holler if you have any questions. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to, again, use the merriest moments. No, but one thing I want to show you, this is a photopolymer set. And if you, the new photopolymer boxes, and I think I have talked about this before, the new photopolymer boxes, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, pictures are now on the back instead of on the sleeve. So what I've been doing is, so let me look at this one. So see how you can, you know, you can see the back again. I'm not a super big fan only because I like to, when I look at, you know, if I want to see if they're all here, right? Because I will pull them out and I'll be using them. Hey, Stacy, Jeannie, 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 Joanne, Sherry, Mary Ellen, Minda, and Rhonda. Aloha, Minda. Um. When I'm doing a, a, a card, sometimes I will have um, stamps from three different stamp sets out, right? So I like to be able to flip the box over and tell if there's something missing. And with that sleeve there, I can't. So then I have to open up the box. So what is helping me a little bit is, now the cling ones, it's not like that. With what I've been doing is I have been pulling out the sleeve and it's easy to do. You just kind of bend the box back. The sleeve pops right out because it's just slid inside there. So it slides right out. Then I cut it at five and a half so that it brings it over, you know, about like here or something because you still want this fold. And then I put it in the paper cutter and I cut it at five. And then, let me put this over here. Then you have two pieces. So, you know, so then you have these two pieces, right? Now you could attach them together if you want, you know. And then I just put those together and I put them back in the sleeve. Hey, Marcy, I put them back in the sleeve. And now, and I was trying to attach this, but I was, 
you know, it's hard to get something to attach to the plastic. So now I just kind of leave this loose instead of having it all be tried with the glue half on it. So then what I do is I just, you know, it just lays here. And then I can tell if there's stuff, right? So now when I look through the back of the set, I can tell because I can see, you know, there's pieces missing. So then I know like, okay, this set isn't complete. So this is what I've been doing. And then I just lay this on here like that. And I put the pieces back where they belong, close the thing, and I am all good to go. So that's just what I've been doing. So see, I can tell that this set is all complete in there because all the, the um, black things are covered, right? So anyways, so I hope that helps you in regards to the new way that the photopolymer are um, put together now. Okay, so we're using the Marius Moments. I'm also using, let me get my um, stuff out here. I'm also using the Wintry 3D embossing folders. Now these are, I like to say A and a B because it's like a, a twofer, right? So you get a winter scene um, with the snowflakes and then you get these beautiful pine needles. Now I haven't used this one yet, so I need to use this because it is gorgeous. I love them both. The only thing that would make them better is if they were full size, but hey, that's just me. All right. I'm also going to be using the seasonal labels. Now, I talked about this the other day, and I actually used um, this one here when I was doing the tag box that I showed on Wednesday. And I'm so glad that you all liked that. And I got so many messages from people saying, you know what? I'm going through my dies to see what would be good for tags and I love when my videos help right okay so let me get started with my card so we are using basic white thick for our card base and oh my gosh where are all my bone folders oh here they are I moved them into a cup and I thought how can I have probably like six of them how could they all be gone from where I usually had them? And it's because I moved them. Okay, so we have that there. Then we have our, this is gonna go on the inside. And then this is that one that I've already embossed with that beautiful snowflake. Isn't that, oh my gosh, I just love this so much. This is one of those dies that when it retires, I'm keeping it because it's just beautiful. All right. Then we have our um, die that I talked about. So before I stamp on it, I want to sponge with our blending brushes with some of the balmy blue. It's a to me, it's a little bluer. It's a little happier. I love pool. I love um, pool party, but I find that the balmy blue is almost like a little happier bluer blue when I have am doing a lot of um the blending or whatever with the brushes with the pool party I see that it's it's um it's more of a green blue this is a pretty blue blue all right so I'm just kind of moving that around I'm leaving the white edges and then this is going to soften as um as it dries all right so let me close my pad I had a run before the video. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to close my studio door because a lot of times on Friday, Jeff gets off work early and he usually knows like when I do my videos, but if I don't have the door open, sometimes he just, you know, hey, I'm home, blah, blah, blah. You know, like on the old movies, honey, I'm home. And so if the door is closed and he knows that I probably have a video going. Okay. So this is to thinking of you this festive season. And I'm going to use cherry cobbler and old olive, the same colors I used the other day. Because like I said, I'm keeping this card simple. And I'm just making it be part of the assortment that I did the other day. So if you are going to give these, that box of um, tags as a gift, this could be the card that you give with it maybe. All right, so thinking of you, this festive season, and I stamp right over that pretty um, blending brush image, and that's why you do it first, 
because if you do it after, you know, that um, cherry cobbler would be like everywhere. Okay, then we are going to, I'm cho choosing the poinsettia or poinsettia. I don't really know how the um, correct pronunciation. So we're gonna put poinsettia here and poinsettia here. And while I'm at it, and this is one thing I always neglect to do on my videos, is I am going to do an envelope. So my envelope is all the way ready. I'm going to flip that over. Let me get a clean one. Look at this is me playing. All right, let me get a clean one. Only because if I was doing like a whole bunch of these, like I always say, I would do it in assembly line. So then I wouldn't be doing the envelope right away. So I don't want their, this to be wet, right? And get on my envelope. All right, so we're gonna put our envelope. And we're gonna have our envelope match. So I'm gonna put a little bit here, but I also want to do my back flap. Now, the back flap of the envelope is different than the back flap if you wear long underwear. That back flap is totally different. All right, so we're going to Put our poinsettias and I'm doing this right here while the envelope is closed so we're putting our poinsettias hey Jackie all right then I'm gonna open my flap and put a couple more in that way None of the um, poinsettias are going to be on the front of the envelope when I, by doing that, leaving that closed. All right, so let me get my uh, memento so we can put our little dots on the inside of our poinsettias. And I probably should have did my leaves at the same time. Now the envelopes dry a little slower than the cardstock because I think they almost have a little bit of a coating on them. And they may, may have, because they have to go through the mail, right? So there could be a slight coating on them for all I know. So just um, give them a little bit of time to dry. All right, then I'll do that and that. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Let me get my this is my inside piece. So we are going to stamp a different greeting on the inside. And it's going to say a joyful Christmas to you and yours. So this is going to go on the inside. I'm going to put it down here. And I want the inside will, will match, but I'm going to use the berries instead so we're going to put holly on the inside of the inside of the card so it still goes right it still coordinates but it's just going to be the different image all right so I want to make sure I can put my cherry cobbler away and now I'm going to use an old olive and we're going to do our leaves okay so I need the big leaf so we've got our big Leaf. I'm going to scoot down. I haven't even been paying attention if I was close enough to the camera. All right, so we're going to go big leaf. I moved my lights around, so I was hoping that I wouldn't have as many shadows. So let me know if you're getting a shadow. All right, leaf, leaf, and leaf. You need it. I've been having fun with my old olive. I need to drink it. Oh, I love this set so much. I love this so much. All right, so there's the inside of our card. So let's bring the front of our card back over. And we're going to add leaves to our poinsettias. And by doing them this way, like, 
you're kind of giving them time to dry, right? Before you add the next one, before you're touching them and, you know, and, and, and maybe smearing your ink. All right, so this is going to go here. And let me get the smaller one. I didn't pay attention where I put my poinsettias on that one. All right. So there's the front. Oh, I love this set. All right. In case I don't say that enough. Okay, so let's grab our little, our big leaves for our front of our envelope. And I'm going to put it down here. So it's still giving it a leaf, but it's going to, if I put it here, it might get in the way of your return or your writing, you know, thing. So I'm just going to try to keep it down to this corner if I can. And let's see if we can fit a few leaves on the back since I didn't stamp my leaves before I did all my red. So I think I can stick a few in there. And then that's why I love this set too. It's got like the three different size leaves. So it's perfect. All right. So that looks good. All right, so I think I can close my old olive too now. And my memento. Hey, Dawn! All right, so this is, we're just gonna set this aside to dry. Again, remember the envelopes, you know, they take a little bit of time to dry. Okay, so we can start assembling our card. So I need this right here. And this is the amazing cork that we have in the, um, mini catalog. This stuff is very thin, but it goes through the um, the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. So you can do tags. Um, you can emboss. I mean, you can do so much with it, but it just, I loved that it adds a little bit of nature to the card, right? So you get two pieces. You don't have to use a whole piece of it. I'm just using a little snippet of it. So definitely make sure you grab a package of that. All right, so I'm just putting down on the bottom of my card. Like, look how beautiful that looks. Oh my gosh, it just, I don't know. It just adds nature. Mom's here, hey mom. Um. So I just love that. All right, so you see I didn't waste as much, right, as I do the other DSP. All right, so we have that on the front. The inside of the card is going to be a, another piece, and I totally forgot I was going to add that, so look what I've done. So that's not a big deal. I'm just going to put it over here. No big deal. There are no mistakes in stamping. Only design changes. How many times do I say that? I can't even remember who said that the first time I heard that. And it was like, oh my gosh. I think they had it in a frame or something. But it is true, right? I mean, we all get ideas from people, whether it be um, other demonstrators, customers, even my mom. She sent me this awesome Christmas card a couple years ago. And I did it on one of the videos. So yeah, you just get ideas and then you just tweak them. All right, so see, now it's on the side instead of being on the other way. Okay, so let me bring this over. Now I'm also going to be using the twine as I look around. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, good Lord. Oh, here we go. All right. So we are using, this is the black and white twine. And this is the, that goes with the pets. And I'm always calling it the wrong thing. But it's the pets trim. It's got the red and the white. All right. So we're going to put this on here. And I'm going to wrap it. I believe I wrapped it just once. I'm going to look at my card I always look at, right? Nope. I went around twice. 
Now usually I would put another piece to make this a little um, more sturdy because uh, it's kind of thin, right? So I'm just going to have to be very careful when I tie my ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those together like that. And I'm going to flip it over. And you all know where this is going, right? I'm going to add my scotch tape like I always do. And this is just going to keep this ribbon in place so that I can tie it after. All right. But what I'm also going to do is I want to put it on the front of the card so that the front of the card will actually hold this so it doesn't buckle as I tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my seal plus because it is super sticky and then it's going to be all the way ready so I'm going to bring my card over and then when I tie the card base is going to be the secure piece instead of having an other layer underneath this card all right, so I'm trying to make sure it's straight with my phone in the way. Come on. All right, so I think that's good. All right, so now when I tie this, this piece is not going to buckle because the card is going to keep it still. All right, so then I'm just going to tie that pretty little bow off to the side and this black and white ribbon I love it so much and what it does is it it's got this extra texture to it but what it's doing is it's going to pull see I have the little black dots on here so see you've got the black and white here white the black so all just kind of um, ties it all in all right so let me cut my Things. Now, don't look at these. These are my paper only, but I was cutting ribbon over over there, and my scissors are off off my desk. Okay, so then we're going to put the inside of our card. So I'm just grabbing all my seals because I think they're both almost ready for a refill. So I figured between the two of them, I should be able to get my video done. <laughs> All right, so here's the inside, beautiful. And what I love about the cork as well is it's very thin, like I said, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk and it doesn't add a whole lot of weight to your card, but it adds a pop of just beautiful. I mean, I need to get a whole bunch of it because it's in the mini catalog. So that does not mean that it will carry over into the big catalog, right? So when there's ever something that I totally am just infatuated with, I'm just know I'm going to want to use it over and over, I usually grab a bunch of it so that I have it, even if it retires, because I can still use it um, in my online classes, right? Okay, let's see here. So now I'm putting some dimensionals. Now, if I was doing a workshop and there was like a hostess, I would never use something that was not available for people to order because then it would, you know, it would maybe make somebody upset at the workshop or whatever. But if it's just, you know, an on cla online class that I'm just doing myself, I have been known to use retired stuff. All right. Because that clearance rack is an awesome place to look at too for embellishments and things like that so if you have somebody on your um, Christmas list that is um, a crafter always look at the um, clearance clearance rack okay so I'm going to add and these are the um, subtle shimmer sequins so I'm gonna put a few little sequins around so when I was doing this card let me show you I was going back and forth, right? So I was like, okay, I wanted to add an embellishment. So then I'm like, the matte black dots. And I thought, you know what? These would look great because we've got the little dots here. But then when I laid them 
on, here's the ones that's open. Uh, to me, it was just too bold, you know, because if you have these beautiful snowflakes back here, and I didn't want those big, heavy matte black dots on there. So that's why I thought, you know what, but I still want to have a little bit of shimmy, a little bit of um, something, something. And that's when I picked these because they're going to add a little bit of sparkle, but not be so heavy. So that's, you know, that's how my brain works. All right. Now, if I'd have used, you know, a DSP that had something else going around in the background, I may have picked the matte black dots. But when I had the white, I was just like, nope, we're just going to go real subtle. All right. So now I'm just going to put a little drop of glue. Let me get this started. This glue's almost done, too. You can tell I've been a glue and fool when all my glue is almost dry. All right, hang on. I had to get started. I had to get that little bit of caca out of the tip. All right, so now, usually I go drip, drip, drip with the glue, but this folder, because it's got... um. In dance and out dance, if I just go drip, 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 and then I add my embellishments, sometimes I can't tell if that was a glue drop or if it's part of the folder. So if that's what you a lot of times do, like me, you might not want to do that with this folder or you're going to be like, which one is the glue? So anyway, so then I was just doing them one at a time because even now, if I don't pay attention what I'm doing I'm like oh my gosh which one is the glue all right so I'm just gonna put three on this side and then I'm gonna put two on here just to make the tag you know kind of go with the card now the tag I can go glue glue because there is no you know no confusion what is embossing folder and which is glue so that's just a little hint i try to add at least one hint a video all right so there's that let me put my glue on hey seal all right so there's that let me close this because i know i'm going to knock it off the table all right so let me show you this card that i was looking at i know i always have one and then you can see the difference on the inside all right so here's the two this is the one i just did let me scoot up a little bit so this is the one I just did with its beautiful matching envelope. Look at that envelope, right? Like, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This would be a great... Now, somebody asked me, I think it was Jackie, asked if you can put the envelopes, right? Oops, I'm going to drop. That almost went flying. If you can put the envelopes in the boxes, and yes, so watch this. So if you were going to give this as a gift... Look at that. It fits right in there. So look how beautiful. You have a card to go with the tags. Now you'd want to give it to the person, you know, earlier so that they could use the tags. You know, if you're going to do the tags. But Rhonda said it would be cool to make tags that were, um, like, other, se other um, oh my gosh, my mind, right? Like happy birthday and things like that. So then you wouldn't have to worry so much. But anyway, okay, so so there's the beautiful envelope. All right, so here's the card I was looking at. So very similar. You know, this, I might have put that up a little more. But here's the inside. So here's, because I forgot to put this strip. But other than that, you know, I like it either way. So what do you think? Do you like the strip on the bottom? Or do you like the strip on the side? I think I just like putting something on the inside of the card to go with the outside of the card. So I wouldn't say no to either of the cards. I would go, oh, I love, I will take both. <laughs> all right, so um, hopefully you liked all the projects I showed this week with the Merriest Moments stamp set and bundle. Did I use the bundle? Yes, I did, too. Because it was a this card. So, yeah. 
So that was the three projects. So make sure you grab it. Make sure you grab it because it is gorgeous. And it just makes, I mean, those are so quick Christmas cards. You know what? I wouldn't be coloring for hours and weeks and months like I normally am. So every time I make a Christmas card, I go, that's my Christmas card. That's my Christmas card. So who knows? But anyways, so um, both card. you like both cards, Stacy Jeannie? Oh, mom likes the strip on the side best. All right, mom. Does that mean that's the card I should send you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say see you later. Have a great weekend. I am going to be like a cardstock cutting fool for fall social to get that stuff out. Embossing, ribbon cutting, envelope stuffing, you, you name it. So much going on. Um, have a great weekend too, Stacy. Um, make sure you um, check back Monday. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Or if you are been here before and you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, this little thing comes up, a little bell. Make sure you click that and say all, because then you'll get an email. I had um, a few people always like, oh, I missed your videos. And if you, it should email you and say, hey, you know, Diane is going live or Diane has uploaded a video or whatever. Because um, I love it when we can have our um, our chats at the same time. So um, have a great weekend. I will see you Monday for my Mimeograph Monday. 3 o'clock Arizona time. Same time, same channel. I love saying that. Makes me feel kind of Batman-like, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, again, for the hundredth time, say see you later. And um, have a great weekend. All right, bye for now. <laughs>